This is lovely video that I picked up last night during my live of Saturn. And Saturn is kind of going through a transition phase right now. And what is happening is that normally Saturn sits at a 27 degree tilt. And for the, for the past couple of years, we have been looking at her northern hemisphere and the top side of her rings. But as she now makes her way closer and closer back towards the sun, around that side of the sun, as she does so, our perspective of her changes in the sky. And when that happens, her rings become edge on. And what that means is that instead of looking at the top side of her rings, it looks like someone has just placed them directly towards where they're facing directly out towards us. Now, Saturn's rings are only about a half a mile to a mile in thickness. So if we're trying to see that, from seven astronomical units away, which an astronomical unit is the same distance as it is from Earth to our sun, if we're trying to see that from seven astronomical units away, Saturn's rings for a period of time will seem to completely disappear in the sky. We will not see them for, for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, and then as she shifts in the sky and we start to see her southern hemisphere, we will start to see the underside of her rings. But during that period of when her rings are, her, are edge on and facing directly towards Earth, it will look like they are not even there at all. So... This is Saturn. As you can see, there is a large moon behind it that is Titan moon. And every once in a while, you can also see her other two moons that are out in front. That is Rhea out front, R-H-E-A, and Enceladus that is closer in, just right behind Rhea.